Yoram, how do you define conservatism? Maybe in the way you were thinking about it yesterday. What do you are some principles of conservatism? Let me define it, and then we can we can get into principles if, if if you want. When I when I talk about political conservatism, I'm talking about uh, a political sp- standpoint that regards the recovery, elaboration, and restoration of tradition as the key to maintaining a nation and strengthening it through time. Okay, so this is something that if you have time to talk about it, like we do on the show, it's worth emphasizing that conservatism uh, is is not like liberalism or Marxism. Liberalism and Marxism are both uh, kind of universal theories, and they claim to be able to tell you what's good for human beings at all times in all places. And conservatism is a little bit different because it's going to carry different values uh, in every nation, in every tribe. You know, even every family you can say has uh, somewhat different values, and the, the the these loyalty groups they compete with one another. Uh, that's the way human beings work. So it's deeply rooted in history of that particular area of land. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say land. You're right that many forms of conservatism are tied to a particular place. So how does the implementation of conservatism to you differ from the ideal of conservatism, the implementations you've seen of political conservatism in the United States and the rest of the world? Just to give some context, because uh, it's a loaded term, like most political terms. So when people think about conservative in the United States, they think about the Republican Party. What Can you kind of disambiguate some of this like what are we supposed to think about? Yeah, that's a really important question. Um, usually the word conservative is associated with uh, Edmund Burke and with the uh, with the the English common law tradition uh, going back, you know, s- centuries and centuries. There's kind of a classical English conservative tradition that goes uh, Fortescue, Hooker, uh, Coke, Selden, Hale, Burke, uh, Blackstone before Burke. Um, if you take that kind of as a as a as a benchmark and you compare it then you can compare it to things like uh the american Fe- federalist party at the time of the the american founding is in many respects very much very much in keeping with that tradition um as you go forward there's uh, an in- in- increasing mix of liberalism into conservatism and i think i i think by the time you get to the 1960s with uh, William Buckley and Frank Meyer, you know the the jargon term is fusionism. By the time you get there, um, it's it, it's arguable that their conservatism isn't very conservative anymore. That it's kind of a uh, uh, a public liberalism mixed with a private conservatism. So a lot of the debate that we have today about you know what does the word conservatism actually mean? A lot of the confusion comes from that. It comes from the fact that. Um, that on on the one hand we have people use use the term, I think properly historically to refer to this this common law tradition of which Burke was a spokesman, but but there are lots of other people who when they say conservative they just mean liberal, uh, and um, I, I think that that's a big problem. I mean it it's a it, it's a problem just to have an intelligent debate is difficult when. Uh, when people are using the 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 word almost in too antithetical, what would you say the essential idea of conservatism is? Time. You mentioned your father's a physicist, yeah. so a lot of physicists, when they form models of the universe, they don't consider time. So everything is dealt with instantaneously. A particle is represented fully by its current state, yeah. velocity, and position. You're saying, so you're arguing. Yeah. Um, with with all of physics and 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 your father, as we always do, uh, that their time matters uh, in, yeah. in conservatives. So that's the fundamental element: is the full history matters, and you cannot separate the individual from the history, yeah. from the roots that yeah. they come from. The parallel in political theory is uh, is what's called rationalism. I guess we'll probably talk about that some. Rationalism is kind of an instantaneous, timeless. Thing before I mentioned that liberalism and various Enlightenment theories, they don't include time at all. Their goal is to say, look, there's such a thing as universal human reason. All human beings, if they reason properly, will come to the same conclusions. Um, if that's true, then it removes 
uh, the time consideration. It removes tradition and context because everywhere where you are at any time, you ought to be able to use reason and come to the same conclusions about politics or morals. So that's a that's a theory like uh, uh, Immanuel Kant or uh, John Locke is an example. Hobbes is an example. Uh, th that kind of political theorizing really does say at a given instant, we can know pretty much everything that we need to know, at least the big things. Uh, and conservatism is the opposite. It's a, it's a, it's a traditionalist view, exactly as you say, that, uh, that says that history is crucial. 